Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In this segment of Becoming a Dog Owner, we are chatting about cleaning up your home with a dog. I get asked all the time how we keep such a clean home with our pup Willa. So I'll be giving you a breakdown of how we clean Willa's bed, our couch, carpets and rugs, dog dishes, and so much more. Dogs are wonderful companions and bring a lot of joy to our lives, but they can also leave a lot of messes behind. By popular demand, we've created this video to share some tips on how to keep your home clean when you have a furry friend running around. So join us on our chore Sunday while we spend the day cleaning our apartment with our little helper, Willa. Okay, before we get started, just wanted to call out that my boyfriend and I split our housework. He's just helping me film this video, so that's why you won't see him in it. But it's definitely a two-man job to keep our place as clean as we both like it to be. Let's start with the first step, which is to wash your dog's bed. Your dog's bed will get dirty and even smelly over time, so it's important to clean it regularly. We wash her bed every two weeks because she's running around on dirt trails every day. She tracks in a lot of dirt into her bed and into the house. Willa has two beds. For the one in her crate, we will remove the cover and throw it in the washing machine. Her second bed is washable, so we can toss in the entire bed into the wash. This bed takes up the entire washing machine, so typically two laundry loads to get her beds clean. I use one pod and a half a scoop of OxyClean and wash it um, on a regular cotton cycle. Once the bed is clean, make sure that it's completely dry before putting it back into place. On a Vishla like us, you can expect some shedding as they have short, dense coat that sheds seasonally. However, compared to other breeds, Vishlas tend to shed moderately and are not heavy shedders. Regular grooming can help manage the shedding and keep your home cleaner. So, brushing your Vishla's coat at least once a week can help remove loose hairs and prevent it from spreading around your home. During shedding season, you may want to brush your Vishla more frequently to keep the shedding under control. Additionally, providing your Vishla with a healthy diet, regular exercise, and proper grooming can help reduce shedding and keep their coat healthy and shiny. You should also check out our grooming video where we had a Vishla spa day, so I'll attach that here. For my windows, I use glass cleaner, but for everywhere else, I actually make my own natural cleaning solution. You can easily make your own with ingredients that you likely have around the house. You just add baking soda, white vinegar, dish soap, and warm water into a spray bottle, and there you have it. This cleaning solution is safe for most surfaces and it is effective for removing dirt, stains, and odor. Plus, it's much cheaper than buying eco-friendly commercial cleaning products and it's definitely safe for your dog. Dogs shed a lot, so regular vacuuming is essential to keep your home clean. We vacuum our floors every day, sometimes twice a day, but keep in mind that we live in an apartment. So if you live in a house, just try to vacuum where your dog spends most of their time and you should be okay. Don't forget to vacuum under the furniture as that's where a lot of pet hair tends to accumulate. And if you have a dog that likes to lay on the couch, be sure to vacuum it regularly as well. One of the best investments you can make for keeping your home clean is purchasing a high quality vacuum cleaner. And we recommend the Dyson. Dyson vacuums are designed to handle pet hair and my long hair, which is typically what we're picking up on the floor. We invested in a Dyson right before we got Willa and it has been a game changer for keeping our home clean. The vacuum effectively removes pet hair from carpets, rugs, and furniture, leaving your home looking and smelling fresh because the vacuum has a filtration system that traps allergens and bacteria, creating a healthier environment for both us and Willa.
Speaking of the couch, if your dog spends a lot of time on it like Willa does, it's a good idea to give it a thorough cleaning from time to time. We call the couch Willa's third bed. She's on it all the time and it's her favorite spot. If you watch our shorts, you'll see her lounging on the couch in most of our feed. So for cleaning it, first start by vacuuming it, as we just mentioned. Typically we do this about once a day. Then I shampoo the couch with our homemade cleaner. And a little pro tip here, I get asked a lot how to clean odors from furniture. And the best way is when you are shampooing, spray Nature's Miracle on the couch when it's already wet and then go over it again while spraying the cleaning solution. And it'll smell and look brand new. Okay, and if you're like me, you low-key like seeing all the dirt that comes off of your couch. Just look at how dirty that is. And we shampoo our couch every month, so hopefully this is your sign that you need to shampoo your couch ASAP. Your entrance rug is likely to get dirty quickly from your pup's paws and the dirt that they bring in from outside. One solution is to use ruggable rugs, which are machine washable and can easily be cleaned whenever needed. Ruggable rugs have a detachable top layer that can be washed in the washing machine while the bottom layer remains in place to keep the rug from slipping. This has been one of Willa's favorite adds to our apartment. She loves hanging out on this rug. So it does need to be washed quite a bit. So we definitely vacuum first to make sure that all of the dust and hair is picked up in our vacuum. And then we will wash the top layer simply by removing it from the bottom layer and tossing it in the washing machine. Once the cycle is complete, you can dry the top layer in the dryer and then reattach it to the bottom layer. With ruggable rugs, you can keep your entrance clean and fresh without worrying about the constant cleaning or replacing a rug, which is very expensive. Plus, ruggable rugs come in a variety of colors and styles to match your home's decor. I haven't met a dog that doesn't drip tons of water after gulping it all up. This typically makes the space around the dish even dirtier. So don't forget to clean your dog's food and water dish. You should do this at least once a week to prevent bacteria from buildup. You can wash the dishes in hot soapy water. I typically just use dish soap, or you can put them in the dishwasher if they're dishwasher safe. And don't forget to wipe down the area around the dishes as well. We have this blue rubbery mat that holds everything in place and protects our floors. You'll also notice we have a special food dish for Willow to slow down her eating, but this also gets really dirty over time. You've likely noticed nose and tongue marks on your windows from when pups like to look out or they wanna come inside. I typically clean the windows every week, but I swear as soon as I finish, Willow runs over to mess them up again. So they definitely don't ever look spotless or perfect, but with regular cleaning, you can keep your windows looking decently clean and clear, even with a dog around.
Willa loves being out on the patio and spending time outside, which means she leaves paw prints on our patio entrance every single time she steps in or out. These paw prints are super easy to clean up, so we try to clean this spot a couple times a week. And finally, we clean the shower. We wash Willa in our shower. She prefers the shower head versus a bath. And we typically wash her paws off in the shower at least once a day, so it's important to clean the shower regularly to prevent any buildup of dirt, hair, or bacteria. So you can start by rinsing the shower down with hot water to remove any loose debris or hair. Then use a mild cleaner. I use the same cleaner that I used before except separately, so I use the baking soda, vinegar, and dish soap to clean the shower walls and floor. Then I use this electric spin brush. This was an Amazon impulse buy that I have been so happy with. If you have any back issues or um, can't go down on your hands and knees to clean, this extendable scrubber is an awesome choice for you. So once you've cleaned the shower, make sure to rinse it thoroughly with hot water to remove any of the cleaner residue. It's a good idea to clean your shower once a week to prevent any buildup or odors. Keeping your shower clean can create a more comfortable and hygienic environment for both you and your pup. Well, there you have it. These are just the basic cleaning steps we take either daily, weekly, or monthly now that we have our sweet Willa. By washing your dog's bed, vacuuming regularly, shampooing your couch, and cleaning your dog's food and water dish, you can keep your home clean and fresh smelling, even with a furry friend around. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video.